Whoa, what the hell? Isn't that sick? It's literally how it came. It's I found it like, in the collection. Yeah, it was just put on upside down. Damn. You want an effed up Toy Biz Venom? Come to Kojo's world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are at Kojo's world and they're inside. I'm about to go inside. I'm already uh, have my mind blown by this. So let's go in and check it out. Whoa. What's up? What's up? Oh my God. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> I don't even know where to look yet. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, the pops? Yeah. I got to start with that, actually. Actually, no. I have to introduce you guys first <laughs> before I go look at the stupid coffin that almost ended my life. Okay. So, we're at Kojo's World. What city is this? New Bedford, Massachusetts. New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It is not Boston. Thought it was for a long time. It's not. It's about 40 minutes outside of Boston, and I haven't even looked at one thing. It's already worth the trip. Before I show my guests and the owners of this shop, don't forget... Every single Sunday is brought to you by Whatnot. Go download the app. The link is in my description. I'm doing a live auction once a month. Okay. Guys, <laughs> the shop is great. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourselves. Tell people why they should check this place out and why you guys started it, your relationship. I got it all in the car on the way here. <laughs> I The people need to know, though. The heart of the store is literally you guys. How long do you want this version to be? Oh, I edit these ma okay. immaculately. You could okay. take as much time as you want. <laughs> so uh, I'm Ted, and this is Kojo. Hey, how are you? <clears throat> and uh, we're cousins. We have been our whole life, believe it or not. And uh... <laughs> what? what you... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I guess you could marry in as a cousin. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fair so, enough. Uh... Also, Ted is a wrestler as well. Um, if you don't know, this is true. <laughs> like Tony Schiavone. Well, what? Easy now. Great counter move that time, and up on the turnbuckle. Look at Goods. We grew up obviously playing with toys for years, our whole childhood. And then um, right around high school, college years, we kind of went our separate ways. Jay was living in LA for a while. That's where you got your fashion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jay's always been into collecting. He kind of got me back into it and we were doing like the flea markets and the thrift stores and all that stuff. The hunt. The hunt, yeah. the thrill of the chase. That's what that's, that's really what I'm what here every week for. So oh, we started, no pun intended, but we started toying with the idea of a toy store. And uh, like I was telling Ethan on the way here, how we were, we were toying around with the idea of opening a toy store. And I had my eye in this location, my friend Rogers next door, uh, Purchase Street Records, which if you are into, if you like this, if you like heavy metal from the eighties, like if you want to walk into 1987, I might even even show you i have the keys before we oh, okay we can maybe get a little snippet of them it's called purchase street records all right it's our neighbor We're right next door yes sir that's awesome i helped him with that spot and i had my eye next next door here to do something for a while and he, we started talking about the toy store and i said kojo like i know the spot i've worked in like every bar down here like every business i i just i have a good reputation down in this area and i just know we could do big things here and here we are yeah in a small place <laughs> Celebrating, oh, Celebrating one year. Listen, size does not matter. <laughs> size does not matter. <laughs> does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. I, 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 you guys are talking. I'm trying to, you know, film and get you guys a nice shot. But also, my eyes are wandering <laughs> everywhere. Like I, like I said, it's visual uh, stimulation, overstimulation. Yeah. We, yeah. I mean, when we uh, decided how to design the place, Ted said, "I want this place to just be overwhelming Look when up. you walk through." Sabu. Like the slime, you know what I mean? like coming out of the Ooh. pipe. This is the fart chamber, by the way. The fart yeah. chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fill it for you guys. <laughs> so he wanted to be overwhelming when you walk in, and literally, I work here on the weekends. Every single person that walks in, through the door goes, "Oh crap!" Never mind walking through the door. Just driving <laughs> up, seeing the lights and the sign. Like, even if you're not into this stuff, it's gonna pique your interest. You're gonna want to walk in, and then 
bam, that's when you get hit with nostalgia, yeah. a little flashback. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember when I had that. Oh, I, I remember seeing that at Toys R Us and not being able to afford it. This is a pretty big uh, area in the tourist area in the summer, especially more recently. And uh, we were saying, like, our, some of our biggest, like, sales this summer were people coming in. They saw the outside. Like, what is this? They come in. The nostalgia gets them, but they might not be a toy collector. They get a t-shirt. They might get a poster. Like, posters, pins, and t-shirts. We said we're paying our bills. Just that alone yeah. was paying our bills That's all awesome. summer, you Absolutely. know? So the toys was the icing on the cake. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I think this is enough talk. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to go look. Let's look. <laughs> Cool. I've actually wanted to see our LJN oh, yeah. next to. So what? They're a little, just a little bit smaller. Yeah, they're harder and a little bit smaller. It fits in though. Yeah. LJN stuff is if you if we have one that's like not common, they go so fast. So fast. Oh, it's crazy. People trying to finish their collections. Oh, yeah. You gotta see this thing. So this is what closed. This is in the box. It's sealed. I never opened it. Yeah. So it's sealed. Okay. And then on the inside is just. I think it's like him and the coffin. He's inside the coffin? Yeah, yeah, like a skateboarding. You guys almost got the whole set, or? Yeah, we might splurge and buy him. Man. Oh, look at the ropes. Shawn Michaels hat. Yeah. Oh, so like those ropes. Look at, they can we, turnbuckles and all, baby. Yeah. No way. Come on. You know, we fully little, functional. We used to wrestle in Ted's backyard, and those are the ropes we wrestled with. Stop. So yeah, his parents dad, kept them for dad, four years. My dad came up to me. There's a picture years. of us right here you might want to get at in the first indie show we ever went to with a guy dressed like Sting. Oh, my God. So my dad, like, right before we opened the store, was basically just like, hey, I got that rope from your wrestling ring in the basement. <laughs> Do you want it? And I'm like, for what? Like, it's just a piece of rope. It was taped up all yeah, different yeah, colors. Yeah. We used to wrestle the wrestling buddy with it. And uh, then I had it for like a year. And then I'm like, bro, I when we make this, like this little, we envision this because like you'd see the commercials for like Toys yes, R Us. Yes, yes. Meet, meet the Macho Man. And he'd be sitting behind like something like this. I was like, bro, I want to put this in front of our wrestling display. I have the rope from when we <laughs> backyard wrestled each other. Like, Amazing. so this is the rope. This is from, insane. From 30 yeah. years ago. Okay, I, I'm gonna say this on the vlog just so it's here. <laughs> if I ever do a signing in your store and this, this is not in front of me, <laughs> I'm out. Deal is off. Yeah, yeah, deal is off. It's a permanent dude. fixture. It's so for that right now bro. Yeah, that, what he paid they were all a dollar or a dollar 77 each that's what he said he, he thought of it as like taxes oh, if you scroll up look. hey hey boom boom like so organized we had a lot so the vintage actually went all the way around when we first opened and we've sold so much but now as you can see like the AEW stuff and the elite stuff we got a pretty good oh yeah so, i was gonna say to see a selection like this is very rare yeah yeah we almost we, we almost got Lucy's. oh yeah and we have all these lucy's AEW. damn you guys got loose AEW figures yeah. that's very hard to come by with the packaging like i was telling you about oh yeah this is big to us Toy collectors, you get a nice little logo on there. Know where you got it from. You know the toy's clean. Oh, this is badass. Oh, I see what you guys did here, by the way. What's that? You got the uh, Punk and uh, Brian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it works. I've never seen one of these, that's cool. We had another one too, it had like the Cracker Barrel barrel with it. No way, yeah. they made one with the Cracker Barrel? Yeah, yeah, we actually have more of them coming in too. You guys even have stuff on the back of the door. That was also a Christmas edition. We were like, oh, yeah, you trying to leave? Psych, you got to buy some more stuff. This is all horror over here. Yeah, we try to keep it. We try to keep it like. Yeah, you do a really good job. 
trial and error. When we first opened, we were kind of all over the place, and then you know we realized maybe all the wrestling stuff should be in one spot. You know. Ooh, I'm really into this. Never go wrong with Cyclops. Yeah, I gotta get my son some plushies. So what do you collect? You collect, obviously like you start yeah. and then it becomes a business. Uh, yep. So I, what's your, what, what, what got you into it? I did collect G.I. Joe for a long time. Okay. How old are you? If you? I'm 42. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. And then um, I had kids. Yep. And my son is not into G.I. Joe at all. That makes sense. So too. now we collect all kinds of stuff. Muscle man, he likes those new Akato guys. So your collection Come became on. his collection? Yeah, Kinda, pretty kinda. much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. I, that's like, you can watch the transition of me hunting for myself in the vlog, and then now it's like, oh, I can get this for my kids or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I have way more fun doing that because they're so excited and then we play with them together. Yeah, yeah. It's the best. I agree. And honestly, having this store, I feel like I really don't need much anymore. This, I just dude, this come is here, your you know? collection. <laughs> Yeah, it's just hard not to open everything. Ted was saying, oh, that, for <laughs> sure. Like, I could tell you guys would have definitely opened that Darby just, oh, to, yeah. Yeah, just to be like, oh, you want to see what it looks like? I'll show you. I, I could never do that to you guys. Oh, but this is like a rotating collection. Yeah. For me, it was just always just being around the stuff. Yeah. So if I had a shop, yeah, you're around it all the time. Yeah. You get your nostalgia kick. Yep. Like this, head flipper. Yeah, I just love how much vintage you guys have. What are these? Adam's family on the card. Well, that one is. The other one's, yeah, the other the ones Lucy's behind them. What? So we bought this collection off a dude. It was like a thousand figures, and they were all complete with the card, but they were all loose. So like everything was bad. Oh, and they had the card, card behind it? But well, we had the Toxic Crusaders. What? Um, the whole, whole set collection. Yeah, yeah Bill and Ted. No Bill way. Ted. We have Bill Body and Ted, the whole set. But see how it's like packaged with the card behind it? Oh, okay. Why, 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 who's doing that as a kid? Dude, he, you know, he uh, bought him as an adult. Yeah. yeah. An adult. Oh, he, so he, he bought. Had, we had Pee Wee's Playhouse in the box with every figure on the card yeah, stuffed inside stuffed the, in the box. box yeah. And every accessory, yeah. That was pretty sweet. We didn't want to sell that. We wanted to set it up. It was really cool. Oh, do you know there's no more Toxic Crusader? No. He sold the whole set to a guy. He had the whole, exact, the whole thing. Man. All complete, too. Woo. No way! Yeah, yeah, I just said we're getting low, but I have 6,500 more in my house. We'll be okay. So you guys give out Toys R Us bags? Yeah, every time. Hey, uh, you know, I just left the country of Canada, but you know what didn't leave Canada? What's that? Toys R Us. Oh, Toys R Us exists Canada. here. It's, it's in a Macy's store. No, it doesn't count. I've seen it. it. No, it does not count. This is a toy store, guys. This is where you need to go. Not the crappy Macy's Toys R Us. <laughs> No one's ever been down here? Uh, like a couple of customers we've like let, but literally less than five. Less than five. Yeah. I've only let one person down here ever, and I think he's let maybe one or two. Family, that's yeah. about it. You let more people down, huh? <laughs> they might still be down there. I'll be negotiating <laughs> with you on my purchase. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so we were just talking about people that watch my vlogs know I'm trying to find all the Mortal Kombat G.I. Joe figures carded, but you said you have some loose. Kojo? Potentially. Potentially. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. I don't know where you put them. I, never I don't know where I put them either. I don't have to go see them. We bought this you. collection like a week ago, but we buy toys every day. Literally every day, either online or in the store. And if someone wants to, what would they do? They just hit us up, Kojo's Toy World, on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We don't have a phone number because people were calling me at 3 a.m. So you can Instagram me at 3 a.m. If I'm awake, I might respond. Or if you, <laughs> you piss me off, I'll just wait till 11 a.m. when we open. But yeah, go down and uh, just watch your head. Okay. I will. Down. Oh my God. This, Here it's we like go. Low ceilings, Here so. we go. We're getting crazy here. <laughs> oh. And I have no idea where I'm I never saw him since you bought him. That's why I asked if you Holy took Holy crap. <laughs> There's so much. Dude, in these bins is just all Transformers. Like, I know it's tough to see, but if you, like, peek in there, it's just hundreds and hundreds. I remember seeing commercials for this thing. Ah, <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. A, oh, here it is. Oh, what is that Power Ranger arcade bank? I think that was Ted's when he was a little boy. <laughs> that was my brother's. Is it act, did it, like, you could actually play a game on it? No, it just lights up and makes a noise, I think. Oh, okay. Coin in. What's in here? Whoa! Oh, what's that? Wolverine, Punisher, and... Where did you get those? Oh, you got those from that guy. I don't even know. Yeah, it's in that same collection. Here, let me put that back how it was. I didn't even know we had those. Oh, when I said the carded stuff... Oh, like, dude, what is this? I hate gone, this guy. I haven't even, even met him, and I stuff. hate this guy. Look at, see? All the Kevin Costner you can get just all individually bagged. Like, oh, oh, we got a visionary, too, Ted. I forgot to put him in. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. So there's oh, G.I. Joe's. Can't be too far. Oh, there's Shang Tsung. I see him. Whoa, they have Street Fighter too. Oh yeah, Dude, at my house, we have my brother's Street Fighter Four with the box. What the hell? Oh, Sub Zero. Can I open this bag? Yeah, man. Under machine we're getting. Which one? The oh, jump from the wrestler. So I had this, but the black version. Okay, this figure was probably one of my favorite figures like ever. And when we moved from my house when I was a little kid, I never found it. Scorpion. To hold one? I also met the actor. Oh, man. Scorpion. He ran a seminar. This is before I uh, was taken advantage of by member many wrestler seminars. <laughs> this is a martial arts <laughs> seminar from the actor, Chris Casamassa. Wow. Who played Scorpion, yeah. Did you get a picture with him? Of course. This is unreal. Oh, my God. Yeah, I had the boat. Oh, you guys have a Sub-Zero, too? Raiden. Johnny Cage is in. Wow, those are all really nice. Yeah, they're in good shape. Yeah. Why do they make a blue and a black version? Didn't the black one come with the four or something? Oh. So bummer. they had the originals, which probably around the same time. Then they re released all the toys in like movie versions. Yeah. So like had different carding and then they'll have like a variant or like they'll add the. They'll have this one, but with the sash and the, and the bra uh, black or gray mask to be more authentic to like the movie. Nice. But yeah, it was all just re releases. Look at this. Look at that shadow kick. <laughs> Man, these are sick. What's that dude's name with like the half cyborg? Kano. Kano. That's it. Rip your heart out, bro. Figure. Kojo's son's name? Raiden. Your kid's name is Raiden? Yeah. <laughs> right there, dog. <laughs> Man, these are awesome. I hated the Liu Kang, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to play with those guys in my Hasbro wrestling ring when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, because they were way better for yeah. wrestling. Look at that Razor Ramon little <laughs> drop there. there. <laughs> so if anyone knows where I could get these carded at a decent price, because you're looking at $100 per figure if they're on a card. Oh, yeah. And I've got three of them so far. Who do you have? I think Sonya, Liu Kang, and maybe either Sub-Zero or Scorpion. I just moved. I have to get everything out of the boxes, but... To actually be able to like hold these is sick. Thank you. <laughs> Feeling nostalgic? Oh, dude, yes. Someone oh, yeah. come buy these at Kojo. I want to buy them. I want to collect those. <laughs> I want those. I have a handful of them, but I don't know which ones. I got to look. Those take me back. Thanks for taking me there. <laughs> well, now I know where those Joes are, so I'm happy you went down there. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. That's cool, the Punisher and stuff that's in there. I didn't see all that. That guy, I traded him something little for that. You ever see these? Wu-Tang Transformers? Wait, what? Wu-Tang Transformers? Just Chris Jericho, look at this figure. Oh, that's the Lion Tamer one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got these. 
Today. What? That's cool. Yeah. So I guess they're pretty valuable. You might find, catch these on our eBay sooner than later. All right. What's your eBay? Uh, our eBay is actually Kojo Toy World. No S. No S. Someone no. already got that, eh? I guess. Yeah. So weird. <laughs> to the back wall yeah yet. yeah that's fine because uh, my attention is right there power ranger movie oh, yeah, i don't want to reach because i'll end up I'll let you check it out. this one here do you want to see yeah damn it's been opened yeah it's open complete though there should be let's see i was gonna say since it's been opened do you mind if i take a peek The frog, bear, damn. This is crazy. So like, I don't know, like I remember going to the theater to see this movie. Yeah. I think this piece might connect to it. Yeah, it goes on his back, see? Yeah. The wings. Oh, man. <laughs> At least they took care of it. Yeah. Whoever had this, they didn't really beat him up. I feel like no. their kid just displayed him or something. It was somebody's kids. Yeah, like, they're all in great condition. The boxes are even in good condition. This is from the movie. I think they're from, like, what, mid-2000s? Like, 2005? Was these re Oh, Legacy, yeah. So they were re-released. 2018. Yeah. Oh, so then it was people like us. Yeah. <laughs> it was for sure displayed. Then we have another one inside the case in the back, but it's not from that. Wait. That's the original one from the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. how we figured out because when we first opened like we had like ljn figures in the ring and like kids were like you know the ring was like 200 bucks and kids are just stretching them and yeah we were letting people play with stuff you know but then we realized all right we should put all the cheap things down low and, yeah and a lot of the average customers that come in here they're only looking to spend 10 20 30 bucks they're not trying to buy a 300 dollars right even figure they're looking for a 10 dollar my little pony or yeah Barbie doll, you that's know? the nerds like us yep yeah yeah everyone so, watching this video yeah, thank you. <laughs> And the cards are like really nice. Yeah, it's flat, yeah. straight, no curve. We've no got a few damage. others in like storage. We got a Sting one that's cool, like yeah. Surfer Sting, you know. Oh, dude, William Regal, first yeah. figure, baby. Bobby Eaton's only figure. That's his first ever figure. That, and this was a mail. This was an exclusive online only made by um, 
figures, uh, San Francisco toy makers, but it was online only. Damn, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. You were saying wrestling is like your most popular thing in the store? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Yeah? Yeah. hundred percent. You guys have like the crazy variety and it's just spreading all over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. overtaking. We've got too much. Whoa, what the hell? Isn't that sick? It's literally how it came. It's I found that like, in the collection. Yeah. It was just put on upside down. Damn. You want an effed up Toy Biz Venom? Come to Kojo's world. <laughs> <laughs>
attention, I'm here. Put me in your magazine, man of the year. You know I'm more than worthy of your little cover story. When I was a kid, my ego used to cover for me. Way back when, even now, as men, we go and hit the town just to watch the bags spend. Me and my ego, two seater black bends. Oh, you have friends? I never needed those. All I keep is foes, and my feelings froze. Plus a couple evil secrets that my ego knows. You a tool, needle nose. See them bleach your soul? I am why they pay the fee. I'm the one they came to see. Ego, ego, me and my ego. Hear no, see no, speak no evil. We a team, yo, yeah, you know how we roll. You said I'm a star, I should be the lead bro. Ego, ego, me and my ego. He said I'm the man, better than you people. Forever he my hero, never be an equal. If you don't believe me, you can ask my ego. Yeah, a table for two Then I pay for the booth Like I done came with a crew Popping bottles by myself Seems 